Different types of the pigments are present in higher plants. During the photosynthesis, they trap the light. Chlorophylls are chlorophyll A and B are present. Carotenoids, carotenes and xanthophylls, phycobilins are phycoerythrin and phycocyanin. But uh, phycarotenoids and phycobilins are considered as accessory pigments. They protect the chlorophylls from photooxidation or photobleaching. Here you are seeing the graphical representations. The absorption of light by pigments that cause the photosynthetic yield. It means the photosynthetic yield depends on to the wavelength of the light which is absorbed by the pigments. Here two graphical representations are shown. One is the graphical representation of absorption of light absorption of light by pigments at what wavelengths so you are seeing here this is the nature of the light it means it is visible light here given here between the 363 uh, 400 to 700 so wavelengths of light in nanometers here given at what wavelength the absorption of light is peak by pigments that is given in the form of absorption spectrum so what is absorption spectrum? Absorption spectrum is the graphical representation of light absorption by photosynthetic pigments as function of wavelength of light. It means it shown the absorption of photosynthetic pigments. You see here, here the chlorophylls and carotenoids are absorbed how they are shown the graphical representation. So at the 400 to 500 wavelength of the light here the chlorophyll A absorption and chlorophyll B absorption at peak rate. So what it indicate here is the red light. So at the red light and also at the blue light also here the chlorophyll pigments are shown the peak. So at the red and blue lights at the wavelengths of 400 to 500 and 600 to 700 it means visible light at the visible light they show the absorption of light is more so that's shown in graphical representation that absorption spectrum and here you are seeing the the spectrum this is action spectra action spectra is nothing but of the graph showing the rate of photosynthesis according to the wavelength of light in nanometers. So how the rate of photosynthesis is calculated means the releasing of O2 according to releasing of O2 the photosynthetic yield is calculated here. So at the wavelength at what wavelength the photosynthetic yield is high you see here at the wavelength of 600 to 700 nanometers of light there the photosynthetic rate is very high it represented by red and blue lights that's why at red and blue lights the photosynthetic rate is very high so this is about action spectra you see the this is the diagram of both spectra action and as well as absorption spectra absorption spectra indicate the absorption of pigments at what wavelengths light okay and here the photo rate of photosynthesis both are you are seeing here between 400 to 500 the photosynthetic rate absorption rate is high and also photosynthetic rate is high and between the 600 to 700 also the absorption peak is high and also rate of photosynthesis is high it means the rate of photosynthesis is directly proportional to synthesis is directly proportional to absorption of light absorption of light between 360 to 700 
nanometers wavelength of light wavelength of light